Hey, what's up everybody? Az here for Tomei USA. Today I'm going to be showing you our all new turbo suction hose for the Evo 7, 8 and 9. Now, why would you want to upgrade to this part? Well, here's the OEM unit for comparison and the first thing that you're going to be able to tell is that the OEM unit is really not that well designed. You've got these sharp bends, this accordion style section here which is typical of a budget part and it all generates a lot of resistance and turbulence for the airflow that's coming in from your air filter and then going to your compressor housing. Now the other thing that you're going to notice is that it's made out of this kind of composite rubber silicon plastic which really isn't good, it flexes and this is actually known to choke off a lot of air especially under load and that should be going to your compressor housing. Now to eliminate those issues the first thing that we did on our turbo suction hose is that we made sure that the materials were fit enough for the job. So with our one we use a 4 ply reinforced silicon um, it's infused with fibers and steel rings just to make sure it's got that extra bit of rigidity and it will not flex um, or warp under load which is a good thing. Now you're also going to notice the much smoother lines helping aid that flow of air to your turbo and you're also going to see that this section here in particular is much much wider than the super narrow OEM unit and that's really because you want to have as much air going to your turbo as possible. Now, to install everything, we've included the clamp bands, which you'll need for either end and for your blower valve as well. And then we've also included this little block off as well. Now, this is for your boost solenoid return. If you're running an aftermarket boost controller, you don't actually need to run a return line here. So that's for that. Now, what you don't want to do is to use these quick fixes, which um, a lot of people do. Now, this is known to create vacuum issues and vacuum leaks. So do avoid that at all costs. Now... This particular version we have is for the OEM turbo, but we also do have a much larger one if you're running an aftermarket large size turbo as well. So definitely do make sure that you check out our website for the options. That's it for today um, and check back next time. We'll see you soon.